Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just responded to everyone who bashed him at McCain's funeral with words they'll never forget. It seems the Washington cesspool cannot even have a funeral without turning it into an anti-Trump rally. President Trump's allies both in Washington D.C. and across the country are fuming after banning President Trump himself from the funeral of late Senator John McCain. Azar, it was turned into a circus where the D.C. swamp gathered to take potshots at President Trump rather than mourn the passing of Senator McCain. The memorial service was held at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., to remember McCain, who passed away last week at age 81. His daughter Meghan along with former Presidents Obama and George W. Bush could not just bury the political hatchet for even one day. Instead, they choose to get those digs in against President Trump wherever they could, even at a funeral. Meanwhile, President Trump himself was banned from attending the funeral by Senator McCain prior to his passing, chose to go golfing during the ceremony while his daughter Ivanka sat through harsh criticism of her father, seated next to her husband, Jared Kushner. Meghan stated of her father, We gather here to mourn the passing of American greatness, the real thing, not cheap rhetoric from men who will never come near the sacrifice he gave so willingly, nor the opportunistic appropriation of those who lived lives of comfort and privilege while he suffered and served. Then as her voice rose in anger, she said to audience applause, The America of John McCain has no need to be made great again because America was always great. Former President Obama continued in a similar political vein taking political swipes at President Trump stating, So much of our politics, our public life, our public discourse can seem small and mean and petty, trafficking in bombast and insult and phony controversies and manufactured outrage. It's a politics that pretends to be brave and tough but in fact is born in fear. John called on us to be bigger than that. He called on us to be better than that. And last but not least former President Bush lead from the rear and similar political rhetoric, stating, John was above all a man with a code. He led by a set of public virtues that brought strength and purpose to his life and to his country. He was courageous, with a courage that frightened his captors and inspired his countrymen, Bush said. He was honorable, always recognizing that his opponents were still patriots and human beings. He loved freedom with the passion of a man who knew its absence. He respected the dignity inherent in every life, a dignity that does not stop at borders and cannot be erased by dictators. Perhaps above all, John detested the abuse of power, Bush added. There was something deep inside him that made him stand up for the little guy. To speak for forgotten people in forgotten places. Still, no mention of President Trump by name because they would never be so tacky as to borrow a man from a funeral and then publicly attack him for staying away from the very place that he was told he was unwelcome. How very tacky! Trump allies across the country were left fuming. As Politico states, McCain's service was, on one level, a return to old Washington civility, with Republicans and Democrats, past presidents, friends and foes gathered in unity. But as its tributes echoed with overt criticism of the president, it only deepened the hostility between the city's establishment and the outsider in the White House. It is clearly no secret to Americans why the third most unpopular U.S. senator is being hailed as a hero and eulogized in death as he never was in life. He hated President Trump. President Trump had all the things that McCain himself never was able to achieve. President Trump was actually able to become president whereas McCain was not despite running for election twice. McCain was perhaps President Trump's most prominent nemesis in Washington, D.C., first notably withdrawing support for President Trump during the 2016 presidential election after the Access Hollywood pussy tape was leaked, and then later hand-delivering the salacious and unverified Steele dossier to former FBI Director James Comey. McCain would fly back to Washington, D.C. in July of last year to a standing ovation on the Senate floor, only to cast the deciding vote against President Trump's repeal of Obamacare thus forcing the American people to live with the health care debacle they neither wanted nor asked for. Following the Saturday spectacle, Trump campaign adviser Katrina Pearson tweeted, At real Donald Trump ran for it put us one time and won. Some people will never recover from that. Hashtag sorry not sorry yes, hashtag MAGA. Meanwhile, President Trump appeared to be unbothered, playing golf at the Trump National Golf Club in Loudoun County, Virginia on his drive back to the White House. The president tweeted a four-word message aimed at his critics. Make America great again. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.